hi welcome to my channel and today we are talking about uh, when how why you should start uh, your own seeds indoors before you can plant them outside I live in Estonia and here the winters are six months the summers are barely three months depending on the year and everything so we do have to start uh, very very early because of that because if I started them in April or in or worse in May I wouldn't have any crops to harvest during the summer or even uh, by the uh, autumn season basically so um, in warm areas it's good to uh, start early with the seeds if you want to get two crops uh, or so like if you want to add another round of crops but here it's just to get the one round in the rule of thumb usually is that you should grow your like start uh, pre-growing your plants about six weeks before uh, the last day of uh, frost basically so you can look it up uh, online to see what is the date approximately in your area and you can also uh, read uh, on the seed packet like this they usually say exactly where you, uh, or like when you should plant them so I have like mine that say for example February to March or or June to July depending on things that I wanna or it says like a big portion because they are like fast growing crops you can basically uh, plant harvest plant harvest because they grow so fast also online there are planting calendars and garden plants you can look up and see what they say uh, is the best uh, the time to plant your seeds some like positive things or like some good things about starting your own uh, seeds indoors uh, usually you get more variety because seeds there comes there's different kinds of seeds and often it is harder to find the exact kind of plants you want like other thing especially in today's uh, age people like to get organic food and if you're growing your own if you're starting from the seeds you know exactly how they are grown where they are grown that they are like for example, if you don't want uh, different, uh, if you don't don't want, oh, if you only want to use, uh, for example, like natural uh, bug repellents or stuff like that, you can do it. Uh, when buying from a big uh, grocery line or like big plant line, you cannot be sure it's organic and like free of everything if it, that's the road you, route you want to go and then there's just one like very basic thing that seeds are cheaper you can get more seeds for like a cheaper price and if you have uh, the means and the place to grow them before like regrow them you should go for it if you like <laughs> if you have the feeling that you want to get your uh, hands dirty you want to like hands on work on your garden then this is really a good road to go so I'm gonna show you a few things that I got and we'll talk about why when and everything like that I already had the soil and I'll have to go and get like a few other pots or like April uh, and outside uh, the same way when the frosts are gone in April, May, whatever it works best but I have a few things I do want to get started a little earlier one of them being uh, one type of tomato it's black cherry uh, 
last year I just ha had them turning color like changing color too late and other tomatoes I'm gonna plant in March so uh, also I'm gonna plant basil because I can plant basil later too but I wanna get a few plants started early and the same thing with the gooseberry uh, the gooseberry uh, it started um, like uh, producing the um, berries and everything too late so uh, this needs really warm weather uh, so uh, I have to plant it earlier so it's it gets uh, ready earlier and that's why I'm gonna plant this too and for uh, growing on my windowsill I'm gonna plant rucola uh, like green onions it's like a salad onion basically and some salads uh, these are all the same basically I just have few packages. Uh, I'm gonna start them in the living room windowsill because it's east facing so there's more uh, light right now but later on I'm gonna bring it here so I can uh, pick the salad here and put on a sandwich or something so yeah let's get to planting these. I brought my little uh, labels I can stick here so I remember what is where and other things I'll do in March, like I said, so let's get to it. So, I just filled the whole uh, cassette because um, like I'm not probably gonna plant all of these, like I'm not gonna fill them all, but I just, uh, I can later poke uh, holes into the ones that I didn't use right now and plant the new seed, so it's easier. I don't wanna, if I have plants already going, I don't want to damage them by putting soil into other ones, so that's why I'm doing it right now. doing here is I planted two black cherries I planted three 
basil and four gooseberries. So I have them all here. These three are now uh, still empty. I'm gonna probably uh, plant like tomatoes in the future here or something. Um, you can always plant more. Right now I'm trying to get uh, the best idea is always like at least plant one of each you want more just in case something happens but I have enough time these are the earliest I want to get um, so I still have uh, March like it's February right now I can check these if they don't grow if they don't start coming up uh, or something else happens I break a few for some like as a mistake or something as an accident uh, I can plant more in March it's okay because I started early and uh, that's why I pl I didn't plant any more that I actually wanted right now but otherwise I will in March I probably will plant uh, one uh, more of each that I want so I can choose the best or if one doesn't grow it's okay I get the enough uh, amount I wanted and the ones that come up and are actually good plants, I can give to my friends. I have friends here who also do that, who also garden, also have a greenhouse. So I think they would be happy to take these plants off my hands. But right now we're sticking to uh, basically nine plants and we'll do more in March. So because the onion wants two centimeters uh, on like soil on top of the seed, I'm gonna raise the part where I'm gonna put the salad uh, like higher. So like this. some of these will rise some of these won't and it takes so much time to grow for this type of onion so I don't next up is rucola I haven't uh, grown that myself yet but it's almost always a first time for everything so Let's try it out. It says if I planted it right now, I could already get it in April, which is very exciting. This is an old seed. Uh, this is the best before is over by now. I'm gonna put all of it out because it's getting old. So <laughs> it looks like um, grass seeds basically my opinion so I'm gonna put those here I have to spread it before uh, quite evenly because I can't move it because this way the seeds will move too For this to keep moisture in, uh, the small one, like I said, I'm gonna put like a um, plastic bag over it. But this I will have to use serine wrap until it they start uh, sprouting. Uh, 
And one other thing is I do not use scroll lamps. Uh, I don't have them yet. In the future I'm planning to get myself some grow lamps because I'm going to start um, like my early start for the seeds and plants in my, uh, in my I'm gonna start it in my pantry in the future when I have it all renovated and ready so I don't have to use all my window sills for that but right now if you don't have grow lights but you have like uh, like south or even east facing or like southeast facing window it's going to be okay because i have grown all my plants like that uh just on a windowsill for the past few years so yeah uh be ready to have a jungle on your windowsill so yeah so i've been talking about how i grow in my garden beds and in my greenhouse but what if you don't have these things yet so we all start somewhere if you don't have a house or if you do have a house but don't have the garden yet you can grow your tomatoes and cucumbers uh, on your windowsills or on your balcony or patio or like like porch or something that you have uh, it's definitely doable my mother does it in her apartment and uh, she also grows them on a balcony uh, I recommend getting like looking up uh, tomato uh, plants that are meant for growing outside uh, they are often more strong uh, they tolerate weather and temperatures and stuff like that better they are often shorter in height so you don't have to tie them up um, and more start sturdier anyway so uh, definitely you can look into that cucumbers very easy to grow um, the same goes uh, for herbs and stuff like that you can grow basil uh, dill uh, even like um, spring onions or stuff like that you can grow it also in small containers so I hope you did enjoy this video and find like something for you to take with you from this with some tips, tricks, just uh, the last notch to start growing or just to start thinking about maybe growing your own plants and pre-growing your own plants from the seeds too. I, I believe in you, I believe that you can do it so if you want to see more about me, then uh, you can follow along on Instagram. I post there more often, more daily. Uh, probably gonna post like um, a summary from that today's video to there to see in like bullet points. So if you want to see more, you can subscribe if you like this video. I really appreciate it if you liked it. Um, you can leave a comment below if you're gonna. Uh, start growing this year or if you have already been growing or if you're th still thinking about it so I think bye right now and see you in the next video